In the early 1950s, Pacific Gas and Electric built this natural gas compressor station as part of its Trans-California Natural Gas Transmission System. The station used chromium-6 as a corrosion inhibitor in the cooling towers and dumped over 370 million gallons into unlined spreading ponds between 1952 and 1966. This created a plume of groundwater contamination roughly 6 miles long and 2 miles wide, impacting the wells of residents and businesses and causing significant impacts to their health including cancers. In the early 1990s, PG&E was famously sued for damages as a result of the contamination. PG&E bought properties within the plume, sometimes leaving them to decay or opting to raise them. This included homes, businesses, and even farms. As residents fled, it left this former thriving town on the brink. Please join me as we explore what remains. Welcome to Hinkley, California. This property was formerly a ranch and is at the end of what once was the old Bakersfield Highway. This is one of the larger properties I filmed, having four buildings and an outhouse. This looks like it was probably a shed of some sort and probably had an awning that extended off the side at one point, but with decay, the awning is long gone. The house actually has a basement, but I didn't want to wander inside because the whole structure didn't really look too stable. Luckily it's small enough that we can get a good look inside. I'm not sure what this next building was used for, but it's definitely a trash heap now. It could have been that people were dumping here, or there were squatters that were living on the property using it for trash. I'm not sure. Also, I'm not sure what this building was for either. I kind of speculate maybe it was a garage, but as you can see, it looks like there was actually some carpet in it, so it could have been converted for a living space. Then lastly, we have this outhouse, which has two seats. This house is on the same stretch of a highway, but a little bit closer to Hinkley Road. It 
As I'm sure you could tell, it was a very windy day when I filmed this, and the wind actually created a really spooky atmosphere with this house. As you can tell by the extensive drywall damage, it looks like scrappers have already come through the house and tried to salvage any wiring or copper piping they could find. And as you can see that graffiti that says all the copper gone is a strong indicator of that. During the lawsuit against PG&E, it was discovered that a lot of people that were getting health effects from the water, they had pools, and it turns out it's because chromium-6 can actually be absorbed through the skin. This building is on the corner of Hinkley Road and the old Bakersfield Highway. It looks like it could have possibly been a market at one point, but I'm not 100% sure. The one thing that I found odd about this building is it looks like the concrete pad in the front is actually more recent than the rest of the structure. Over here is actually a water well and what looks like the remains of a water tower. This house is further up Pinkley Road, and from what my research has indicated, it's been abandoned for about two decades now. As a result, it's in a further state of decay than the other properties so far. The majority of the drywall is gone, even on the ceilings. The roof is also in bad condition as you can see daylight coming through.
Even though there's plenty of decay in this house, it's kind of surprising to me that there isn't more graffiti. I wanted to take a look out back because I wanted to see if this property actually had a water well or a cistern, but I couldn't find either. On the back corner of the house, it looks like maybe there was a patio awning or a pergola, but it's long gone now, just debris. From the last house, I noticed in the distance, far away from any roads, this trailer just abandoned out in the middle of the desert. I managed to find a dirt road that gave me access to the trailer. At first, I wasn't sure if it was actually inhabited or not because it actually looked like it was in somewhat decent condition. There was no graffiti and not a lot of broken windows, but as I approached, it was pretty evident that it was just abandoned. The water heater enclosure was open, but surprisingly the plumbing was still there. Usually scrappers will go after water pipes first since there's less risk associated with them. And more often than not, this is the end result of PG&E buying up property in Hinkley. The foundations lining these now empty streets are a reminder of both the memories of what once was a better life, but the sorrow left behind of friends and family who suffered, and in some cases still are suffering, the ill effects of chromium-6 exposure. PG&E has been working on groundwater cleanup, but estimates indicate it could take another 50 years for the water to be acceptable for human consumption. Sadly, I think this means Hinkley's fate is sealed. If you're a new subscriber, I greatly appreciate it. Building a YouTube channel is challenging, and you've really helped me out. 
If you have any comments or critiques about this video, please feel free to comment below. As always, thank you for watching.